everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lindsay and I bring content on clean beauty and skincare if you're not yet subscribed I would love to have you today's video we're doing a really quick and easy effortless makeup look using the beauty counter five minute face bundle now beauty counter was kind enough to sponsor this video so thank you so much beauty counter I will have the links below to everything that I use in this video so without further ado if you want to see how I ended up getting this really quick look then keep watching guys let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna start with the skin prep of course i did already cleanse and tone my face i used the cleansing balm this is perfect if you wear a lot of makeup or any makeup in general just to take makeup off at night it smells like almonds a little almond citrusy really like the scent of it texture is nice does an amazing job at taking off makeup also use this in the morning sometimes just a really nice gentle cleanser keeps your skin balanced because it is a balm cleanser and then I went in with the rejuvenating toner pads which are just like these pre-soaked little toner pads that are really nice as sort of renewing the skin just prepping for makeup so next up I'm gonna go in with the beauty counter nourishing rose water mist I did use this before the toner pads but I'm just gonna mist it again just for a little refresh the spray on this bottle is so good which is like so important in a mist I do not want to use a mist unless it has a good spray around it very refreshing. To prep the skin for makeup, I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Counter Match Adaptive Moisture Lotion. It's really nice because it's nice and light and convenient to travel with or just keep on your vanity. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that and just smooth this on my face. You guys know skin prep is probably just as important as makeup because if your skin isn't prepped well, if it's dry, your makeup's not gonna look good and it's just gonna be a hot mess. So I just like to let that sink in for a little bit. If I was wearing this makeup for the whole day, I would definitely put an SPF on, but just because I'm filming another video after this, I'm gonna skip out on the SPF because I'm just gonna be washing my face and filming another video. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is like the five minute face. You need to go somewhere and get ready super quickly. This is just like the perfect little bundle. You have everything you need. You can also just like keep it in a little bag on the go. You take the train, don't do it in your car if you're driving. If you take the bus, if you're riding a bike, probably shouldn't do that either. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with the base. So you get to pick a couple different options for the products in this bundle. So they give you like two different foundations to pick from, two mascaras. You can pick your shade of concealer, of course, your shade of lip gloss, and then also your shade of brow product and blush. So. The two like base products you get to choose from are the Dew Skin Moisturizing Coverage SPF 20 and then the Tint Skin Foundation. I have the shade 2 in Dew Skin and the shade Sand in the Tint Skin. Now I have had this for a while which is why I'm going to use this one because it is new in my collection. I've been testing it out. So what I like to do is just take a little bit on the back of my hand and then the shade is darker than my face by the way because my body is self tanned so I like my foundation to be a little bit darker just to match that since I don't usually self tan my face since it just wears off so quickly so I like to just dot that on with my fingers and then I go in with a sponge you could also use a brush and then I really just press it into the skin if you're really in a rush just go in with your fingers so that'd be super quick I find that both of the tint skin and the dew skin work great with fingers so as you can see that really just did a nice job at evening out my skin tone but this doesn't feel heavy or really look heavy at all so it's perfect for like an everyday type of quick makeup just gonna go ahead and finish up my forehead here all right our foundation is on that was super quick and easy Next up, we're going to do concealer. I have the Beauty Counter Touch Up Concealer Pen here. I've been using this the past couple weeks and I've like fallen in love with it. It has this nice brush tip applicator on it and then you sort of just press it and it, the product comes up if you've ever used an applicator like this. And then I have the shade Fair. I got a lighter shade because I wanted to do like some brightening and highlighting under the eyes. Especially if I'm doing quick makeup, I definitely want to make sure that the under eyes are really bright because I feel like that just makes you look a little bit more alive. 
I'm just gonna do I do a lot under my eyes you don't have to do this much under your eyes you could really just like use it on your finger and do a little bit under your eyes a little bit on any sort of blemishes I'm just taking the same sponge and blending that out. The great thing about this concealer, just like the foundation, is that it blends out so quickly and easily. It doesn't like cling to anything or it's not too thick where it like really takes some work to blend in. You could really just use your fingers or like I'm doing, use a sponge. And it's just such a quick way to do makeup. Okay, so that's it for the concealer. Our base is looking really nice and smooth and bright, but it doesn't really look like I have that much makeup on pretty like smooth looking and it kind of just looks like my skin but better we actually only have one more product for their face which is blush which i think is another essential product if you're doing a quick makeup that just makes your face look alive really brings you to life so this is the blush in the shade melon which is a really gorgeous it's not totally matte it has a bit of sheen to it but it's just the perfect a little bit of a corally pink to really brighten up my face i'm just gonna grab a blush brush and I'm just going to kind of stamp that on my cheeks. Now if you want this to look even more natural, just go back in with a sponge over the powder blush. This kind of helps to mold it with the foundation and the concealer. And just make it look like it's your natural flush and not like you have a powder blush over makeup. So bam, again as you can see it just really brightened up my face and gave me a little bit more dimension. So it's not just like I have a flat face, which I clearly don't. but. You know what I mean. So next up for brows, I'm using the Beauty Counter Brilliant Brow Tinted Brow Gel. I have the shade Light here. It's also something I've been testing out before I made this video. And this is such a thickening and like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's the perfect brow product if you don't have time to fill in your brows because it like helps to fill them in and also make your brow hairs look a little bit thicker but not like you really did anything to your brows. It just looks super natural and it's so easy to do. Here are the brows done. If I'm going for like a bushy or really quick brow look, I'll brush the hairs up just because again, it makes them look really thick and full. Sort of just gives them more shape and definition. I really like this brow gel because it really holds your brows in place. So really great to have on hand if you just need a quick brow fix. And next up we have mascara, of course. Before we move on to the mascara though, I wanna give you guys a little trick. If you have like minimal products in your bag and you need to do something on your eyes, what I like to do is just take a little bit of the blush on my finger and what you can do is just pat this on your eyelid and just do a nice wash of pink. Again, just use your fingers if you don't have brushes. And just doing that little bit of blush on the eyelids really just adds a little bit more dimension to your eyes. Again, another pop of color to just bring some more life to your face. For our mascara, when I'm using the Beauty Counter Voluminizing Mascara. In the bundle, you have a choice of this or the Lengthening Mascara. So the brush is one of those like soft fiber brushes, which usually are in Voluminizing Mascaras to give you a nice fluffy lash. I love using a voluminizing mascara when I'm doing a quick minimal makeup look like, like this because it just makes your lashes look like so fluffy and beautiful and not like really overdone or chunky. So I'm just going in with a really light coat of mascara here. I'm going to pop it on my bottom lashes as well. So I finished up the mascara and there's another little trick I want to tell you guys about to make the most out of the products you have. If you want a little brightness in the inner corners, I like to go in with the highlighter pen, the concealer, and just take whatever's left. Sort of just pop a little bit right in the inner corner and just press that in with your fingers. Just sort of pat that in and it gives a nice brightness to the inner corners. It's really gonna make your eyes look bright, wide, and open and not sleepy and tired like mine look most of the time. Okay, so we're almost done here. Last step is lips. I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Lip Gloss in the shade Opal, which is a really light pink. It's almost like a translucent gloss. I got this shade because when I'm not wearing any lip liner or any other lip product, I really like a gloss like this because it just makes your natural lips look a little nicer. And it goes with any sort of product you'd put it with. They smell so good. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you. If you did enjoy this look, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know down below 
what your like essential steps if you're doing a super quick makeup routine are. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.